we are going to play a game called Draw a Rhyme. This is a funny mom version. So you'll need a blank piece of paper, some crayons, markers, or colored pencils. So go ahead and grab those now. Okay, I'm going to say a line to you guys, and you guys need to guess what the last word is. It's a rhyming word. So once you know what it is, go ahead and say it out loud. That's the word that we're gonna use to draw our mom. I'll draw a picture here on the whiteboard and you guys can draw one of your mom there on your sheet of paper at home. All right, so let's get started. Okay, when drawing your mom, it is said, you always start with drawing her. Make it real pretty, cause mom takes good care. On top of her head, give her some soft silky. Now make her look wise by giving her too wide open. She loves to smell flowers, everyone knows. So give your mom a round little. Now make a line as long as a mile and turn it into a great big. Look at her clothes, the cute outfit she's in. Give her a top that goes up to her. Now look at that. Can you believe her top has purple stripes on each long? All over her top are big colored spots. So let's give her lots of. Now look at that. She may want to dance. Your mom will need some pretty long. She has two gloves, one left, one right. One's painted yellow and the other ones. At the bottom of her pants is something new. You can see one little black. Her other foot doesn't have a shoe because she just painted her toenails the color. Now you see on Mother's Day, moms are always right. So hand her this picture and tell her she's a beautiful. Mango, Abuela and Me. This is by Meg Medina, illustrated by Angela Dominguez. She comes to us in winter, leaving behind her sunny house that rested between two snaking rivers. Her old place was too much for just one, mommy tells me as we make room in my dresser for her clothes, and too far away for us to help, Papi adds. Abuela belongs with us now, Mia. But I still feel shy when I meet this faraway grandmother. Bean Ban Boon. Papi unfolds Abuela's bed and slides it right next to mine. You will get to know each other, he says. But when I show Abuela my new book, she can't unlock the English words. We can only look at the pictures and watch Edmund race on his wheel. Then, just before we turn out the light, she pulls out two things tucked inside the satin pocket of her suitcase. A feather! Una pluma, from a wild parrot that roosted in her mango trees, and a snapshot, una fotografía, of a young man with Papi's smile. Tu abuelo, she says, climbing into bed. Snuggled in my pajamas, I smell flowers in her hair, sugar and cinnamon baked into her skin. That night, I dream of a red bird circling in the sky. The rest of the winter, while Mommy and Papi are at work, Abuela waits for me to get home from school. Then we bundle up in thick socks and handmade sweaters to walk to the park and toss bread to the sparrows. My Espanol is not good enough to tell her the things an Abuela should know, like how I am the very best in art and how I can run as fast as the boys. 
and her English is too poquito to tell me all the stories I want to know about Abuelo and the rivers that ran right outside their door. With our mouths as empty as our bread baskets, we walk back home and watch TV. Abuela and I can't understand each other, I whisper to Mommy. Things will get better, Mommy says. Remember how it was with Kim? Kim is my best friend at school. When she was new, our whole class helped teach her English words. Now, Miss Wilson sometimes has to say, Please be quiet, girls. Others are working. After school the next day, while Abuela and I are making meat pies for our snack, I pretend I am Miss Wilson. Dough, I say, pointing to the ball. Abuela says, dough, masa, and rolls it flat. Masa, I say. She drops a spoonful of meat in place. Carne. Carne, I say. Meat. Basas, raisins, aceite, oil. Then I remember the word cards we taped in our classroom to help Kim. So while Abuela fries our empanadas, I put up word cards too, until everything is covered, even Edmund. Soon we are playing Oi e di, hear and say, all around the house. But that night, she still calls my pillow a palo, and she says Edmund is a hamster. We'll keep practicing, I whisper. But the next day, I cannot practice with Abuela after all. Edmund has run out of his favorite seats, so Mommy and I have to ride the bus downtown to buy more. Sometimes there are kittens sleeping in the pet shop window. But when we arrive this time, Something even better is behind the glass. Look, I say. The window has become a jungle filled with birds. And right in the middle is a parrot staring at us with black bean eyes. I press my nose to the glass, thinking of the red feather Abuela gave me. Let's buy him, I tell Mommy. But Mia, you already have Edmund, Mommy says. Oh, not for me, I say, for Abuela, like the parrot that lived in her mango trees. He can keep her company when I'm at school. When we bring him home to Abuela, she says, Un loro, a parrot. We name him Mango because his wings are green, orange, and gold like the fruit. During the day, Abuela teaches him how to give beaky kisses and to bob his head when she sings Los Pollitos to him. Buenas tardes, Mango, Abuela says, opening his cage door when I get home from school. Good afternoon, I say, and give him a seed. Soon, Mango calls to me even before we open his cage. Buenas tardes, he says when I open the door. Good afternoon! Abuela, Mango, and I practice new words every day. Mi Español gets faster and Abuela and Mango learn the days of the week, all the months of the year, and the names of coins. How did he learn all that? Papi asks when we show him all that Mango can do. Abuela winks at me and gives Mango a piece of banana, peel and all. Practice, she says. Before long, Abuela asks me how to say harder things too, so she can talk with the neighbors who stop by. Has the mailman come? It is chilly today. Can I get you some cookies and lemonade? Soon, when friends stop by to see Mango's latest tricks, they can understand everything Abuela says. But best of all, now when Abuela and I are lying next to each other in our beds, our mouths are full of things to say. I tell her about my buen dia and show her my best pintura of mango. Abuela reads my favorite book with only a little help and she tells me new stories about Abuelo, who could dive for river stones with a single breath and weave a roof out of palms. I draw pictures for her. She still misses their old house, she says, but now only a little bit. 
Mango listens to us from his perch until my eyes grow heavy. Hasta mañana, abuela, I say. Abuela kisses me. Good night, Mia. Hasta mañana. Good night, Mango calls. And soon, we all fall asleep. Why? Who is that? Tata. Yes. Is that is that abuela? That grandma? Mm -hmm. Lamp. Hey, this is a good idea for you to look. Lamp. Bone. Cup. Base. Table. Rag. Hamster. Abuela. What? Why do you think she feels um, shy? Just to, to meet her grandmother. And maybe because um, she hasn't seen her that often. Okay. Do you guys like to hear stories about your grandparents? Do you guys think that's a good way to learn other languages? So what do you guys think about the story? I mm -hmm. You like it too? And it's kind of fun, huh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Move your hips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do the twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Move your hips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do the twist. Two, three
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Shake your knees to three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Swing your arms to three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Tap your toes to three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have the rhythm. We have the rhythm. All right, mom, so let me just say that this is one of my favorite days of the year because it's a special day where we can show our appreciation to all the incredible women in our lives who have taught us, inspired us, motivated us, and loved us every single day. From being your child's first teacher to juggling all of life's busy moments, you are truly amazing women. You are loved and appreciated, and thank you for all you do. Thank you so much for coming to our virtual tea party today. I hope you all had a great time. I know we had so much fun today. Thank you again, and happy Mother's Day. All right, so it's time for us to go and eat, so I will see you all in the next video. Bye.